Hey guys, today we are in Audi A38B. We have virtual cockpit over here. This is facelift model, but I believe those displays are, are also retrofitted into the older vehicles. So today I'm going to show you how to enable and enter the hidden menu in this virtual cockpit instrument cluster. So first of all, turn on the ignition. Second of all, you want to pop the hood. So the hood needs to be open to perform this uh, procedure. I believe uh, that the hood mechanism is one of the safety features over here when it comes to coding and adaptations in MQB vehicles after a certain year. And the third thing that we need is OBD11. I have mine already connected to the OBD2 port and I have the OBD11 application over here running and connected with the vehicle. So from the bottom right corner, let's go to the list of all modules. Let's scroll down to module 17, which is the dashboard or instrument cluster or virtual cockpit. Over here, scroll down to change service. And we want to change service to development mode. So let's select this. Okay. And right now we can go to adaptation. And in adaptation, we are looking for developer mode. So let's use the search bar, enter developer developers menu it's called over here and you can see that by, de by default it's set to not active so let's switch it to active and let's save this new value adaptation successful we can now can we close this try to run it again just to check if the if the uh, correct value was stored successful successfully so let's give it a second bottom right 17 adaptation developers menu it's set to active okay okay so it's a little bit bright over here so i will try to do it with, from a distance we need to press the ok and uh, scroll right at the same time keep them like this for about three seconds and we can release them when we see the hidden menu over here. And right now with the control wheel under your left thumb, you can just browse the menu. Let me show you a couple of things. We are not going to do details over here, but there is some information about the coding. There are some diagnostic things. We can check temperatures of the unit. There's some kind of demo mode. There are some settings like language settings and uh, um, uh, IP network connection settings over here. I believe that you should be very careful if you want to change anything over here. Since this is developer menu and it's not available normally, um, I believe there are things over here that could, uh, that could break the unit or make it very hard to use or restore the original functionality. So you need to keep uh, keep that in mind and if you want to um, quit this menu just use left or right over here and the display will go back into normal operation mode okay so in the uh, in the description below this video you will find a little bit more details about this menu and um, give me thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial subscribe for future ones and see you soon